Hi, I'm Tweet. Welcome back to my channel. And for those who are new, welcome. So today I'm going to show you how I make my cheese dip. You will need Velveeta cheese, the original. Black beans, any type of black beans. Salsa, I use Tresito. Some milk, or you can use canned milk. And the cheese is just on the top for garnish. I do use meat. You can use whatever meat you want. But I am going to use vegetarian meat. And this is Morningstar. And this is my crock pot just to keep it hot throughout the day while we eat. So let's get started. Okay, so for those who are trying to wing off meat, I would strongly recommend Morningstar. Especially their crumples and their nuggets are pretty good and their burgers are pretty good but the best burgers are from burgers and beyond so we're gonna heat this up I'm gonna put a little oil in there and I'm gonna fry it up as soon as you open it that's what it looks like it's little crumbles and you will season this how you would season regular meat don't cut anything out go on with your same routine if you chop onions and garlic and stuff go ahead and do that the more that you pretend that this is real 100% meat the more it would taste like yeah, it don't get me okay Okay, so that um, one of the reasons why you need to add the oil to the vegetarian meat is because it doesn't generate oil or produce it on its own. So if you were to do this without that, you would just be burning your pan. And you don't want to do that. Your pan should look like that. This smells absolutely phenomenal. You cannot tell that this does not smell like real meat. Okay, next you want to go ahead and take this, it depends on if you're gonna cook for like a little party or not. If not, if you're just cooking for like a family of four, you only need half of this. So we're just gonna cut this into big cubes. Yeah, All right, so I just cut half of it and we're gonna cut this into cubes. Pause it. All right, it's best to cut this once it's been cooled or to be very messy trying to cut this while it's warm. And the reason why we're cutting this is because we want to cut the time of it melting in the microwave. If you're going to do this only in your crock pot, if you have the time, that's perfect. Go ahead and do it. You can, no problems there at all. But I'm doing this in the microwave simply because it's fastest. And it's about dinner time, so we need to be getting ready to eat soon. All right, you can keep it. Keep it aimed right here. All right, then you're gonna grab something. Please excuse what I'm using because my husband has used all my big bowls for his dog outside. So, this is kind of, hey, you gotta use what you got. So we're just gonna put this in there and we're gonna add some milk. Believe it or not, that's all you need at first. And we're going to throw this in the oven, uh, in the microwave. We're going to throw this in the microwave for about one minute, two minutes, and watch it. Okay, so about after a minute, it'll look like this. And this is when you want to take the time to stir it. You want to stir it. And this is when you assess if you need more milk or not. Sorry, I only have one hand. I'm trying to do this by myself. Okay. Yeah, my husband ran to go do something, so. You just uh, stir it all up like this part of it. This is what you want most of it to look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing this off camera and add a little bit more milk if I need to. Um. Don't believe I will need to because do you see all these pools of it right here? I want most of it to look like this area right here. So once I finish doing that, I'll be right back. Okay, so it should look a, a little something like that. I did add like a quick pour, like pour down, pull up really quick type of um, splash of milk in there. 
and it should look like that and we're going to put it back in the microwave for about two more minutes okay so once it comes out it'll look like this and you stir it up some more now we're going to transfer this to our crock pot now i do have just a little bit of milk in there at the bottom because i wanted it to be hot when it came on and i didn't want it burning so you do not have to do that Okay, so I put that in the washer for it to soak. Well, okay, so that's what it's looking like. Now we're going to put half of our vegetarian meat in there because we're going to use half for our tacos and then half for this dip. So let's get to it. Okay, so now I'm going to add my be black beans. I'm going to add my black beans after I drain them. I drain mine unless they're really good like Goya black beans I'll drain them a little bit because I like the little gooey stuff at the bottom and then we're gonna add I use Tortitos salsa chunky mild you, you can do whichever one you want and we're gonna put about half of that in here if you have a small one you can put the whole thing in but I think that's pretty good and now we're just going to mix all of this in like this. Look at the flick of the wrist. Look at the flick of the wrist. Don't worry about that scar on my hand. Don't even worry about it. Actually, I got this in sixth grade from Brittany Brown. You know who you are and you know what you did to me. No, I'm kidding. And one of my friends, we was playing... And she pushed me, and I got a carpet burn right now. And that's how I heal. Ain't that crazy? I need to call her up. Make her pay for my reaper, my reconstructive surgery. All right. So we're just going to let this heat up for a while. Top this baby off with some Mexican cheese. And I'll be back. Is y'all ready for this? Look at that. Look, look at that. Here, eat it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's for me. Mm. So I hope you enjoyed this video on how I make my queso dip. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. And see you on the next video.